a good morning, good evening or good afternoon folks. Oh, it's church day today. Uh, I came to this church a couple of years ago um, and they had something on in the church and it looks like the door's going to be locked but where am I? I'm at Snitterfield and this is St James the Great Church which I'll show you in a sec. I cycled here with my son Paul. It was a lovely summer's afternoon and there's a little shed over there which they were doing cakes and stuff and there was some they had the pot of money on the table and uh, we sat down it was on the video i think and the woman come and quickly took the money away as if we were going to nick it but uh, anyway that's another story please like and subscribe uh i'm going to show any fellow over there looking at that church um yeah, I got a bit sort of uh, confused.com when I was driving back from uh, Hampton Lucy. I was almost like I was going through Binton and I was going to the Binton church for some reason. But anyway, I this is where I wanted to come. So we spin you around. And there's, and the last time I was here, I'm going to carefully go up here. I was talking to the chap that made that frame on there. So, yeah, so this is where I am. Hopefully, I'm on the right setting to tilt up. There's the church. Yeah, it was a lovely afternoon. So I had my caravan at, or motor home at Wilmcote, and uh, my son Paul came, and he was on his uh, racing bike, and uh, I was on my uh, electric bike, and I beat him up the hills, but along the straights, he was faster than me. Now, it's going to be locked. Yeah, it's got two key sizes there, but slightly different to mine. But I said only the Lord will let me in. So, uh, and there is some snowdrops here. So that's nice. So, we'll have a little walk round. Um, oh, yeah, there's quite a few. That's one of the reasons I came, because I've been on a bit of a snowdrop adventure since I've been back from Spain and what I'm going to do is save my legs as I'm going over oh, I have to, might have to climb up there a little bit actually yeah I've got my new squeakers on I don't want to get them when you get something new it's like you have a new car you clean it every day and I've got the new boots on and I don't really want to get them muddy just yet but uh, yeah very nice, nice tree there as well. Got the ivy on it. Have a little walk around. It's got a toilet here. I should imagine it's all locked up now, but uh, yeah, we had a lovely time here. I'll try and find out this year when they have that little event on and I'll come with me son Paul, because we, oops, uh, we did enjoy that. Uh, I'm going over to some more snowdrops now, so uh, I'll spin you around and going down, folks. Hang on, let's get the right setting. We're going down. Not too low, Roy. I'm sinking in the ground a bit here, so I don't want to get the new boots. Uh, messed up yet but uh, yeah quite nice here and again rest in peace everybody here no, I'm just going to tilt that pocket up oh blimey oh. yeah I think I was recording but the pocket went on to the setting so I hope let's do another little bit more in case it weren't nothing worse than you getting home and you've missed a bit out but we'll just go over here uh, so I'm sinking a little bit. Let's do another little. I'm just tighten me. A little bit there, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, a little pan around here. Yeah, it's nice that the pocket's working as is. Uh, because before it was really getting on my nerves, but they must have done something with that update. It seems all right, so going up. 
yeah that's nice so uh yeah it's only going to be a short video of this i've seen some more snow drops up there so we'll go and have a look um catching us yeah it's just a few here there's one little flower coming through as well i think they're crocuses i think i'm no expert uh but we'll just go round here now yeah we've got some uh the daffodils will be coming through soon uh this uh i don't know if we're gonna have any more cold weather there's a little uh, reef there nice tree yew tree there uh, if i can get over to it hang on wait there a sec folk yeah just sort of sneak across here to the tree got something about trees i've said before it's friday night i used to be going out on a friday night years ago well many many years ago i used to go to the white line at the port waves a great night on a friday night there um then there used to be a i used to go at the over the hill club uh at dorridge that was good uh we used to have a little last dance. It was a bit of a shock when the lights come on. They probably thought the same about me, but it was a good night. And um, now, talking to a tree, how are you doing? But I'm happy, that's the main thing. So uh, I'm just going to swing that, oh, around that way. Yeah, so, yeah, so I hope you're all well who's watching the video. Uh, so I'm having a nice afternoon. I don't want to go home. Well, this is going to be my last video. This is the third video. <laughs> I'm just thinking about when I um, I took my laundry in in Spain. I said to the woman, "I'll be there at five And she went like that. She goes, "No, two, You know. So that was great. That laundry. And uh, I'll tell you a little story when I go up there. Hang on a sec. I'm just looking here. I haven't seen any catkins this year. But I haven't really been on any any walks really. So, uh, but I must say, my new boots uh, they're great. And I say, me, me and my son Paul, we was in there. We had a cake and stuff, and they were really friendly, the folks. And it was a lovely afternoon. Um, what do my son Paul? He, he got cycling shorts on, they were see-through, he didn't realise, you know, and I thought they were supposed to be like that, and then he was telling me about it, but uh, anyway, that's another story. I'm going to tell you another story in a minute when I go past here, so follow me, folks. Just twisted this round a little bit. Yeah, follow me. Hang on. Yeah, come on, follow me. Me, folks. Yeah, you have to get the pocket set at the right angle but it is a nice church and he fell over earlier when I lent up so uh, anyway I better tell you that story before I forget uh, I'll come back on in a sec yeah so last night I was having the holiday blues so I decided to book my flight for Spain next year uh, oh actually there's a bench over there I didn't see that let's go over to the bench a bit dry. That should be all right. Ah, yeah. Thanks for joining me on the bench. So yeah, so last night I was a bit down the dumps, and I've got an electric blanket which I put on the sofa. That packed up. My diesel eater packed up, which I'll I'll tell you about that story in a minute. But I decided to book uh, my flight to go to Spain. Well, I went on um, Jet Two. And it was going to cost me about nearly 200 quid, about the same as last year. But the flight was seven in the morning or six. So I didn't want that. So Ryanair worked out cheaper. It was 150, including the uh, luggage. So I went on Sunshine Holidays and to go with Ryanair uh, with the bags and the flight and half board for 28 days was 1100 quid. 
But what I wanted to do was uh, book that holiday free cancellation because if something happens that uh, I'm ill, I don't mind losing the flight money, but I don't want to pay a, a, over a grand and then find I can't go. So I thought I'd just book it. I book the flight, then I book the hotel, and uh, they still wanted the same price on Sunshine. Without the flight, it was still 1100. With the flight, it was 1100. It just didn't make sense. And I went on on the beach and a few others, booking.com, and they all wanted about 1200 quid. So I'm not going to bother at the moment, the bowels. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm not going to bother at the moment. Um, the hotel, the one chap on the desk told me to ring him and he said they'll do me a good deal. So a few months' time, I'll phone him up and see if I can get a price. But there's no rush. Anyway, I'm going to tell you another story in a sec. Yeah, it's just I don't want to bore you too much here. But yeah, so I've got central eating at home, but it does cost, well, everyone knows it's really expensive. Well, I normally have my diesel eater on. £10 a week keeps me warm. It costs you over a tenner a day to have the heating on. It's not so bad if you've gone for an hour in the morning and you're back home at night, a couple of hours. When you're sat in all day, it's expensive. That's why I use the diesel eater, but it's packed up. So I contacted the company. It was a bit hard to get through to them, but they told me to do this, do that, and it weren't any good. So in the end, I said to them that I've done a YouTube video. It's had 60,000 views. So they said, send us the link, which I did. And then after that, they said, uh, if you allow us to use that uh, link, you know, we'll send you a heater free. So um, got one coming. So I'll be nice and toasty in a few days. So I'll let you know more about that when it comes. So nearly time for me to end the video now. I hope I ain't bored you with me stuff. It's Friday, the, uh, the 9th of Feb. I went shopping today and the wraps in Morrison's I buy, six wraps at 159. I went to Aldi, eight wraps for a pound and it said uh, March 24th. So, well, that's the next year. I'll get, I'll get about five packs and I realised that um, it's uh, March this year. They don't last that long. So I've already bought some. So I got one. So it looks at the moment more I'd be buying the wraps from Aldi. Anyway, that's another story. See you in a bit. Yeah, hello world. Well, it's time to end the video. I enjoyed that little walk round. Hope you have as well. And thanks for joining me. Uh, as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. Big thumbs up from me and let's hope there's peace all around the world. And we'll see you all on the next video. I've got some folks coming down now. See you in a bit.